we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what you can do with a podcast, especially if you plan to stick around for 25 episodes or more, or already have over 25 episodes under your belt. And the reason I'm putting both of those into the same category is because there really are under 3 million podcasts in the world, and there's not a lot. There's only 7% of all podcasters who have more than seven episodes. And that's a shocking statistic, but it is what it is. And if you have more than 25 episodes or plan to, you should be thinking about panels or cohorts or masterminds or whatever version of the small group and or community that you want to think about. These are an extremely good idea for a number of reasons. Firstly, I think in larger organizations, it allows the opportunity to break through some silos. So you've got sales, you've got marketing, you've got customer experience. Imagine putting those together on the regular on a podcast and then having that go out so that people don't have to listen to multiple podcasts to get the information that they need. In a smaller organization, the way to achieve that same effect is to bring together forces that would be beneficial to the end listener. So if you're talking to entrepreneurs and your specialty is marketing, maybe you do want to bring together other collaborations with like sales leaders and CX leaders, and then that could be your panel. So a panel is an exceedingly good idea under any circumstance, regardless of the size of business. If you are an advanced podcaster and haven't played with this yet, now's your chance. If you need a good metaphor, a popular culture reference that helps understand the value of something like this and the longevity of it, more importantly, I ask you to look to the view. And ABC's property of like bringing together five women with diverse opinions, different people speaking to different ways of life. There's never been a better time for that kind of thing. And so we really think that sometimes, you know, if I had to go and explain to someone why a panel is a good idea, it would take a lot of thinking. But when I say to people, hey, do you watch The View? Do you understand what that does for like, modern broadcasting that was a forward thinking move and today for podcasting this is a forward thinking move and then i don't have to do a whole lot of talking it gets so much easier after that so i really think you know that metaphor links it for me consider it consider a panel consider a panel that brings that lively entertaining watchable listenable quality um, that the view delivers mm -hmm.